Okay. All right, folks. Welcome. Today is fun lab day. Be a short session. We're going to split it up. Um, so just to explain a little bit about the lab, we're going to be going over today, ARP, um, DNS. And if you can fit ping, cool. If not, then we'll we'll uh, roll over to tomorrow. So a little bit about the lab. I have a Windows, a virtual Windows server. I have one switch and I have a router, right? That's serving as our gateway out to the world. Um, currently not connected out to the world because I wanted to keep it simple. Since our test and our proof of concept is going to be just testing to see how DNS works, how the different protocols um, work with the network layer, okay? Um, AKA layer three. All right, so let me, let's do this, right? Because our let's define our goal. Our goal is to see how ARP is going to work. Our goal is to go ahead and see how DNS is processed. And our other goal is to see how pings work. So we are going to do a packet capture, okay? Because a lot of this lab is gonna be us taking a look at to see what data is passing through. We're gonna do a packet capture on gigabit zero slash two. Let's do this again. There we go. Wait for it to pop up. Any minute now? Okay. All right. Let's uh, refresh this page, see what's going on. All right. Let's see. Oh. Let's see what happens. There we go. Just need a refresh. Okay. Okay, nothing popped up yet. Go ahead and turn this bad boy on. Open them up. All right, so we have a PC. All right, so we have something on the network. Let's see now. Let me try to capture again if, if it works a bit better now. There we go. All right, let's shift this to the next page. We're just putting it to a different page just so we can organize a little bit better. And let's see if anything's coming through. Wait for Wireshark to pop up. Okay, while that loads, because it may be taking a while. Okay, everything's well. Let's go ahead and check the IP information. All right, so we don't have anything here, right? No IP address, no gateway, nothing. We do have a MAC address, right? But we don't have any of the other information, okay? So that's what we're going to go ahead and process. We're going to process DHCP, make sure it rolls. Um, let's give this a few minutes. We may have to run another capture. Lab is running a little bit slow this morning, guys. I do apologize. Okay. All right, so I don't see anything. Let's uh, let's go ahead and be safe. And you know what? Let's capture another side. Go ahead. Refresh the page. Let's see what's going on. There we go. Sometimes it takes a few refreshes, you know, good old tech. It's always not reliable. Okay. There we go. Okay. All right. So I'm happy. So what this is telling me is that packets are being captured on that interface and we're seeing BPDUs, aka spanning tree protocol frames being sent out. So I'm happy, all right? So with that being said, right? Again, we have our 
Windows Server, it's it has the following roles. It has DHCP, it has DNS, okay? So uh, the DHCP information, it, I should get on this test PC some information um, from the DHCP server, okay? So let's go ahead and take a look. Let's go to the test PC. And let's go ahead and request an IP address, all right? See what happens. Need to discover. It should shoot it out. If it fails, you probably got it. Okay. All right. So let's take a look and see what's going on. It looks like it stopped capturing. And let's do this. Let's capture on this. Okay, perfect, perfect. All right, so we see that looks a little bit better. All right, can we see our, yep, we see a few few things here. Now let's see what we can do. Okay. All right, all right. We're looking good. All right, so we have DHCP information now. Sorry, guys, of course, the lab is a little bit buggy. And let's confirm this. DHCP info. Okay, so we have, of course, an IP address that was assigned to us, 10.10.10.51, right? Network is a slash 24. The gateway is a 10.10.10.1, all right? DNS server is 10.10.10.25. That's my DHCP server and, and my DNS server that's running those two services. And we'll take a look at that just so you guys can get a better look and, and take a look at that, right? DHCP server, same thing as DNS, okay? Have a MAC address here, all right? And everything's well, all right? So let's sit this down for a little bit, all right? Let's go ahead and take a look at a few things. Oops. Let's first take a look at DNS, okay? So, right, we see a few things, right? And these are just queries, right, from the actual server trying to reach out to what, right? Microsoft, okay? These are just queries that are not responding, right? But how does it look coming from maybe the test PC, right? How does it look compared to yesterday? Let's go ahead and do it, right? Let's do a ping, and we're going to do a ping to a host name rather than the IP address. See what happens. Okay, says it can't resolve it. Hmm. Why can't it? All right. Let's see why. Let's do a IP dot ADDR equals ten dot ten dot ten dot fifty one. Take a look at that. Okay. So let's take a look. Right. So we see our DNS query from our host, right? We got a 10.10.10.51. What does that match up? That does match up with our test PC, right? And same thing I told you guys, we have a query, right? It's saying, hey, where is google.com, right? We see that, we see layer two, layer three, they're able to communicate perfectly fine via layer three. Now it's that query coming in, right? It's saying, hey, I'm trying to figure out, trying to figure out where uh, Google.com is. Okay. If I go ahead and go to, right, the response, right, it's letting me know it doesn't have any answers. Remember yesterday we see a couple of answers or responses to the queries, right? And so now we see server failure, right? But don't focus too much on that. This is just saying and showing you guys how DNS works, right? You shoot over a query. If the server is available, you're going to get a response. Either A, it failed, or B, here's some responses and base, or here's some answers, right? And here's the following IP address mappings to those host names, right? What it could be. So that's DNS, okay? Let's take a look at ARC. 
right? Because that was right after that. We have a few ARP entries, okay? So DHCP went through its process, and we'll have a session on DHCP in the future. DHCP went through its process, right? And we can tell right here, there we go. We can tell right here a little bit, right? That, right, that the Windows Server was trying to resolve who, you know, resolve who was 10.10.10.1, right? Because that's what um, prior to this reporting, I can figure it has its default gateway, okay? And so, and so you see that response and I'm not, open up, I'm not opening up the packet data for a reason, right? We can just read the info right here, right? We got that first art coming from the, the server. Hey, who has 10.10.10.1? Tell 10.10.10.25, right? 10.10.10.1 is at that MAC address. Same thing of what Cornelia said yesterday, right? ARP is a IP address to MAC mapping, okay? Cisco routers run at layer three mostly, right? And so they're going only to be able to resolve layer three, but they have the function of ARP to be able to, to work with IP addresses and map it to MAC addresses, all right? So a couple other things about ARP, we'll get into deeper into the future. They have this thing called a gratuitous ARP or what they call a GARP, right? What does that mean? Let's go back to the diagram, to topology. Whenever a host joins a network, it has the IP address, right? It's on a network. It's going to announce itself and say who, who it is, okay? Right, for example, right? If Ryan walked into a meeting and nobody knew him, what Ryan is going to do is say, hey, my name is Ryan, guys. That is what a gratuitous ARP is, okay? What's the example of an ARP, right? An ARP is maybe Ryan walked into the meeting and needs to know who, who Jeff is, right? Ryan's gonna say, hey guys, who is Jeff? Can you tell me, Ryan, that is exactly what an ARP is, right? Let's look at it. Who has 10.10.10.1? Tell 10.10.10.25. That response comes back, right? That reply, right? And again, the ARP works in two forms. You have a request, you have a reply. Simple enough? Okay. We're still capturing packets here. Still going down, still floating. So last but not least, let's go ahead and test pings, right? So you guys can see it real time. I'm going to go ahead and ping uh, two things. I'm going to ping the router and I'm going to ping my uh, my server, my Windows server, okay? Well, let's see if we see those uh, requests and replies coming through. And that one, let's ping my gateway first. Okay, see those responses. So we're not gonna see this on this packet capture just because again, it is a, um, we're capturing on the interface going towards the Windows Server. But now let's ping the Windows Server. And let's see what's going on. Okay. So now we see those requests, right? They're timing out. Let's take a look and see what's going on. Do a little bit of troubleshooting. Of course, we can see that it's getting it, but let's see what's, What's happening here? Okay. Let's do a continuous ping. It's a troubleshoot. All right. And let's take a look at my Windows server. I told you guys I was gonna. There we go. Let's take a look at it. Okay. Let's look at my network information. Okay. That looks fine. Ten by ten by ten by one. Okay. That looks smooth. Hmm. 
Okay. Okay. Perfect. All right. So I can reach it the other way. Can't reach it from the PC. It's all good. Let's go ahead and take a look. There's probably some issues going on with my lab. I don't want to dwell too much on it. But as you can see, pings are going both ways, right? We ping from the server. We see that, hey, we got a request, we got a reply, we got a request, we got a reply. Okay. And that's where, that's how pings work. And again, they're using the protocol ICMP, right? Uh, Internet control message protocol. All right. All right. Using, of course, layer three. Layer three is interacting with ICMP to go ahead and shoot that data over. Okay. Well, that's it. Hopefully, um, this made sense. And, and luckily, we were able to fit all of it in one session. Hopefully, DNS makes sense. ARP makes sense. And ping makes sense of how they work with the network layer, right? How they do that adjacent layer communication. All right. Um, so I'll go ahead, close this lab. And tomorrow, we'll have another fun day. All right. Now, later. Thank you, sir.